Hey there all craft beer lovers, it's the Cider Fanatic here, back with another beer review. New brewery time on the channel. For this one we're going to Denmark, just outside of uh, Copenhagen, and we're taking a first look at an offering from Ale Farm Brewing. Got their Solemn Cycle Coconut Milk Stout on the table. Yeah, as you can see, lovely, kind of a little bit postmodernist uh, artwork there. Uh, as we said, 500 ml can, weighing in at 7.8% ABV for this milk stout. Let's get it out then and see what we are going to get. Nice pop on the can opening, nice smoke. And this beer is definitely going out. There we go. Yeah, it looks really nice. Generated quite the header there, I would say. There's definitely some more beer left in the can. There we go, gonna stop right there. Right, guys. So, in view, what do we have? Approximately two fingers there of a, well, it seems like a quickly dissipating brown foam. A lot of big bubbles bursting on top. Looks really, really nice. Yeah, look at that beer, guys. Maybe a little bit of light bleeding through, but not much. Very, very black. Let's get the aroma. <sighs> yeah, don't get so much coconut though. Get the uh, roasted malt in there. <sighs> yeah, kind of a little bit of a metallic smell to it, if I'm perfectly honest here. <sighs> yeah. Maybe some brown sugar. Yeah, dark crusted malt. Maybe some bitter chocolate. Yeah, that's basically it. Not getting much coconut in the smell, but I mean, it's up to the taste, guys. So with that said, cheers. Mm, okay, let's go for another one. <clears throat> okay, so yeah guys. Um, first up, you got, unfortunately, I would say right off the bat, you got a uh, thin mouthfeel. And uh, I mean, this is a milk stout. It's a... Coconut milk stout as you can see there And the mouthfeel is well, it's pretty thin I would say to be absolutely honest here. There we go. The, the beer is out There you go The mouthfeel is very thin and I and if I'm perfectly honest, I'm not really getting much of the coconut uh, Thin mouthfeel thin bodied you got a little bit of Kind of a sugary sweetness going around there, which uh, I don't mind a little bit of sweetness in a uh, coconut stout, but it's not really that kind of brown sugar sweetness or molasses sweetness. It's more kind of a raw sugary, kind of white sugary sweetness. Yeah. You do get a little bit of alcohol at the back end. Not much, just a hint of alcohol, but I mean, yeah, it's 7.8%. Yeah, 7.8%, so almost kind of Imperial Stout territory on this one. But I have to say, uh, all in all, I'm a little bit disappointed because I've heard so much good things about Ale Farm. Uh, this is my first beer from these guys. Uh, and I do, I'm, I'm a big sucker for Imperial Stouts, guys, guys, and I'm a big sucker for coconut stouts, coconut beers in general, I would say. Stouts, porters, even IPAs. I love coconut in beer. But I mean, this is, I don't really get the coconut at all. I'm going to go for a final sip here, guys. See what you can get to conclude the review here. Yeah, 
No, unfortunately, I don't get the coconuts in here. I don't. I really don't. Uh, it's watery. It's thin. It's, there's definitely kind of a sugary, white sugary sweetness in there. Hint of a metallic taste to it as well. I don't know if the beer is off or anything like that. I don't think so. There's no dating on the can. Uh, picked this one up, uh, I don't know, four months ago perhaps. But I mean, it's a stout, 7.8% ABV. You can age them, no sweat. But I mean, yeah, couldn't find anything on the can indicating that this has kind of fallen out of date or anything like that. It's an old beer or anything, I don't think so. So all in all, it's kind of quite a disappointment actually for being an ale farm brewing, but that's how it is. Rating, I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. That's it, a two out of five. You do get a little bit of stout characteristics in there, get a little bit of roasted malt, but you got that white sugary sweetness, a little bit of metallic bitterness and a very, very thin body. Oh. Fortunately, uh, not not something for me. It doesn't do it for me. Uh, but hey, if you if you have tried anything from Ale Farm, feel free to chime in, guys. Say what you think. Have you tried this one? Please give a comment. That was everything I had for today. Feel free, of course, to chime in. As I said, thumb me up if you like to review. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Thanks for watching.